Good morning and welcome to the Orchid Man channel. This is Rob speaking and how do you do today? Um, today I'm just going to make a very quick episode about what is in the flower because whenever I see my orchids, especially the Paphiopedalum, I think to myself, beware there be dragons. And also they remind me of the dinosaurs from Jurassic Park so whenever I see them I just play the Jurassic Park theme in my head. Anyway, so starting very quickly and very sunny you can see this beautiful huge Paphiopedalum libvunda which is one of the most beautiful Paphiopedalum orchids that were ever bred and that is my personal opinion I'm pretty sure there are others that you're gonna say that are way better but this is honestly my, so far my favorite orchid I ever had the flowers are absolutely amazing the color is so vibrant and the plant has a wonderful shape. It's been in flower now for two months, so uh, I'm looking forward to how long it actually can be in flower. The plant itself, it's grown in semi-hydroponics, it's doing really well. It has a new growth here, and it has another new growth just over here. And there's another nubbing coming out, just probably on, can't see there. But if you look closer, if you look closer, can, can I see closer? should be able to see something. Something there. There is definitely something there. And I mean, especially if you do the zoom in and the close-up. Oh, this plant is so beautiful. I mean, oh, I'm going to make the, 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 the noises that are very inappropriate just because I love, love this plant. And I really hope that one day I'll have three, four flower spikes and they'll be just so beautiful. Now, the second thing, I have this... Phalaenopsis in flower, which has a flower in spike, which has beautiful red flowers. They are very unique because they start very strawberry red and then turn into like peach red. I don't know if you can imagine that. And they have like a very weird golden shine to them. Now, the second flower I wanted to show you is my Paphiopedalum libvunda uh, crossed with Glaucophyllum which has also a marvellous flower, which is very similar in colour to the original Lipvunda. It has those amber tones, the gold and the browns. It's just beautiful. It reminds me of a sunset on a Greek island. And it actually... So I let it grow the way it wanted to grow this year. Uh, it's a bit bendy, so it does look like a dinosaur. Yeah, it does. And then, if you can actually see here, there is a second bud forming, which is just hiding. Yeah, you can see here. It's just hiding behind the neck of the mother bud. I actually need to, you know, loosen it up because it gets stuck there. So, yeah, it's another beautiful, bright orange sunshine flower for me. And then, as you can see, the plant itself has been grown in semi-hydroponics for the last three, almost three years. It's very big, it's very happy, has a lot of new growths happening there. So there's one here, there's another one just here, there's another one here. Oh god, there's another one there. It's plenty of new growth, so it's an extremely happy flower. flower. Now, I want to show you the Cymbidium, the no ID one that I have in Spike, because the flowers are getting bigger and chunkier. Now, just a quick add-on, I purposely took it off the window so I grow it on, because that one is a bit too shady to show you everything. So, uh, that's a disclaimer for the last video when I was talking about the growing method. Yes, I took it off the window sill and um, it's not growing on this one with the heating mat where I'm just collecting some conkers and other, other nuts. Um, yeah, it's growing on a completely different windowsill which is constantly covered by a curtain. Now, as you can see, I'm gonna make sure you can actually see. Uh, can I have some more light here? So, as you can see here, those are the flower spikes. Oh, let, me, let me move this. Let me move this to get a bit more light. You can see the flower buds. Sorry for that noise in the background. That's my puppy running around my legs. Yeah, the problems. Oh, problems of my life. Here we go. Here we go. So you can see the flowers. They are definitely getting some color in there. 
I have no idea what are they going to be. Um, I would really hope they're going to be something between a chocolate brown and orange. I would be very happy if they were pink because that coloration means that it's going to have some 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 color in there. I don't know what. People said to me earlier, if as you can see the other one here. Uh, people said to me earlier, look at the coloration you can see on the, um, the, the what is it, the neck of the buds, basically saying to me, if you see the color, that's the color that it's going to have, and it's actually really hard to tell because it's kind of like oof, brownish, brownish, dirty, muddy, anyway, I have, how many, one, two, three, so three, buds on this one and there's another four on this one so I'm extremely happy um, the other one it's not growing anything I think that's my fault because this Symbidium went on the window so much earlier so the other one was sitting for about two months on the growing shelf uh, which has a bit more shady and then it joined a sister division and this one was stick on the cold slash hot window sill with plenty of sun through well since I've reported them so I think that's the reason this has flower spike and the other ones grow new growth. However, I don't really mind it because I want the other division to be big and healthy and just extremely chunky. So and also the last flower I have is my Proctavola uh, orange peacock is in flower that this one is extremely hard to capture because uh, my camera just does not want to capture the real true color of this flower because it's so orange and also I'm having a bit of a problem with it because I've noticed one of the flowers is opening into a bit sick or something like that anyway so I need to have a look at this one probably probably completely clean the pot and uh, make sure it's it's growing well. Anyway, so that's my very quick update on the flowers. I will be talking about neophonesias that I have, which are none of them in flower, but right now I will talk about them quite shortly. So if you like this video uh, and have any questions, please comment below. below. Subscribe to my channel and I shall see you soon. Bye!